आई सी अ लॉट ऑफ रिव्यूज सेइंग हनुमान इज सो मच बेटर देन आदि पुरुष वेल वी लिव इन अ टाइम व्हेन बीइंग बेटर देन द वर्स्ट फिल्म एवर मेड इज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट रादर देन बीइंग द बेयर मिनिमम बट कीपिंग इन माइंड हाउ दिस फिल्म इज मेड विद लेस देन फाइव परसेंट ऑफ आदि पुरुष इज बजट it's definitely a compliment and goes on to show that the respect that you have for your film and for the culture is reflected in your work the audience is willing to let the poor vfx go but putting the religious sentiment aside how is hanuman it's decent it's not a bad film it's not a great film either in the beginning of the film we see a kid who is obsessed with superheroes and wants to be one he gets injured after jumping off a roof because of which his father yells at him but the kid is so obsessed with superheroes that he thinks that since batman's parents are dead maybe the death of the parents is a prerequisite of being a superhero so the kid obviously kills his parents we see the kid as an adult in 1998 and he is a violent vigilante this prologue is a bit strange but it sets up the tone of the film and sets up a few gadgets and weapons that will be used later on You would think that this would be the tone for the rest of the film but when the film jumps into present day the tone we have been expecting is completely missing. The rest of the film takes place in a village where we meet our main character Hanumant. We are introduced to him when he is competing with a monkey to steal mangoes which he later distributes to the kids. Now the story that takes place in the first half of Hanuman is genuinely decent. Meenakshi comes back to the village after studying medicine. She then challenges the old barbaric customs of the village. While I like the progression of the story, the execution is very very frustrating. Because there is an unnecessary love angle in this film where Meenakshi sees her locket on someone's neck who definitely stole it. thinks that he is the one who saved her life earlier in the film and decides to get with him while the main character of the film tries to prove his strength in front of him again and again but fails there are moments of comedy sprinkled in between this love arc but they are not enough to keep you entertained throughout during the interval block we see hanuman beating up the village bahubali and becoming their hero right before the interval the vigilante we see at the beginning of the film michael comes to this village second half of this film is basically michael trying to figure out what is the source of hanuman's powers why because he wants to be a superhero and he wants all the powers for himself the film has many flaws the action of this film is not great and the film also fails to create a larger than life vibe for the main character The storytelling does get very cringe worthy in some moments. The antagonist of this film is not very fleshed out which is even more frustrating considering that we see his back story in the beginning of the film but still fail to connect with him. Basically he is a narcissistic psychopath with a god complex. Now the biggest issue that I have with this film is the villain's costume. The Infinity Gauntlet toy that is available for sale in the real world is an actual weapon built for the antagonist in the film. When you see that on screen it gets really hard to take this film seriously and not feel like it's a parody of something which I'm pretty sure was not what the makers were aiming for. However, having discussed the shortcomings of this film, it's time to discuss why this film is being celebrated by the masses and why it should be not in comparison with Adi Purush but on its own. The integration of real mythological characters like Lord Hanuman and Vibhishan in this film does work. and all of the film's shortcomings are genuinely redeemed in the last 10 minutes when we actually get to see lord hanuman in all his glory the reason this film is being celebrated and rightly so is because it shows the potential that the makers have and what it promises us for the future despite being limited by the budget and the resources the film does give us a glimpse of where the filmmaker's heart lies and it lies in faith and respect I might not like this film in its entirety but last year I have seen much worse films make 1000 crores so this film at least deserves to be a hit so we can get more of what the vision of the makers of this film have
There's a vertebra protruding from your back. It has to be put back. Oh, 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 o